Welcome to the enchanting world of Dear Detective from Rampo with Love. It's a passionate NHA, NHA, NHK, NHK show that pays tribute to the legendary writer Hirai Taro, better known by his pen name, Ejogawa Rampo. So it's based on a true story. Well, you can think that it's similar like that movie Shakespeare in Love for a couple of years ago that shows us how Shakespeare got inspired to write Romeo and Juliet. This is similar. This shows us how Edogawa got inspired and offered us some insights into his early days before becoming that famous writer that he is. Um, so it's inspired in a real story. <laughs> yes, indeed. In this thrilling series that is sadly only four episodes long, I know, I wanted more, yeah. It shows and follows the young and still unknown Hirai Taro who admires detective novels. And then he meets this private detective and together they join forces and start doing detective jobs. And it was pretty fun. I agree. The show features some intriguing characters and trust me, you don't know who is the bad guy until the end. It almost like at the end, like you are, I believe it was episode one, no, three, three. I was like, okay, maybe it's that person, but then again, it could be that guy, it could be that girl, and no, it's, what, it's that guy? But you can't hear me? <laughs> yeah. So it's very, very good, especially for an NHK show. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. All the things we have watched on NHK have been fun. <laughs> How much did they pay you to say that? <laughs> Nothing. Can we talk about the downsides of the show? <laughs> what was the downside of this show, besides the four episodes long? The soundtrack, it was pretty awful. <laughs> that was the only flaw, but overall it was good. When, what he is saying is that on the first episode there is like this chase sequence, yeah, and then the music wasn't so good, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure NHK will, will learn from this experience. I really hope so, but other than that, it was very good. It's really amazing the way that they try to implement some things that I did not knew about it. In fact, I did not knew it was a real life person uh, until I was like, you know what, let me go and find some more information. And it was very interesting to find that the writer, Hidari, Hidari, yeah, he, he, his pen name was actually Edogawa Rampo, which was inspired by the renowned American mystery writer Edgar Allan Poe. He combined the pronunciation of Poe name with the Japanese pronunciation of the word Rampo. Okay, interesting. Yeah, Nerd. They didn't mention that. They didn't mention it, but they kind of like implement the idea like, oh, you guys, read between lines kind of thing. Okay. Why they ask? Well, actually, Edogawa Rampo played a significant role in popularizing the mystery journey in Japan. His work, most of the time, his writing style is often doing like a darker, studying the darker aspect of you know, human nature, featuring intrigue, plots, and unexpected twists. Oh, like in the show, like in the show, that bad guy. <laughs> but let's talk now without giving away the ending. So, a few spoilers. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're going to talk about what they did in the show, and they actually get to mention the famous detective Kogoro Akechi. He is one of the most iconic characters on Edogawa's Rampo. In fact, he is this brilliant detective who appears in several works of the, of the writer, and Detective Akechi is most of the time compared with Sherlock Holmes because they're both sharp, deductive reasoning, and personality. I see, I see. You know what? I believe there is a video game, Persona 5, I have it. I believe one of the characters is named after him. I remember when I was watching the show. Well, that's good to hear. But let me tell you something else before... Yeah. There is another uh, story that is called The Fiend with 20 Faces. It is one of Edogawa's Rampo's notable works featuring the master thief of 20 faces. This character, along with the detective Kogoro Akeshi, became highly popular in... has been adapted in numerous films, TV shows... Animes and like you said, video games and manga series. Okay, so yeah, it's very interesting. We should watch something about it. Why not? Yeah, but you didn't talk about the spy girl. Well, <laughs> she wasn't a spy, but let me tell you, the character, her character was very cool. It really got me by surprise at the end of the show. And by the way, if they're doing, they will do more. Yeah, they will do. I really hope they do something else. But, but still, we're talking about NHK. <laughs> Are we going to play that game? Yeah, but you're not, not going to like it. But we'll, we'll see. I'll let you know. What about you? Have you seen this show? Let us know in the comments. And we'll see you next time. Bye.